Hey guys, I'm Boo. We're in New Jersey, and today I want to talk about the Hitachi Ultrastar 7K3000 hard drive, which is a three terabyte drive. Uh, this thing has a 64 meg cache. It is SATA 3, which means it can get uh, transfer speed up to six gigabits per second, and it is renewed. Now, just because it's refurbished doesn't mean it's a bad drive. It just means that the internals have been taken out, new internals have been put in, and now it's, you know, at a better price for you. And that's what I think the main focus is. It's, you know, a $49.99 drive, and if you have Prime, you get free shipping, which I do. At this point, I look at it, and I look at some of the reviews. Of course, everybody shops on reviews, and this time, I'm going to do a video review and show you guys that these terrible reviews are not really relevant. So a lot of people say they started getting errors after a week and uh, it failed around two months later. And another guy says that his motherboard wouldn't recognize it. Now, of course, when you get a new hard drive and it's over two terabytes, your computer isn't immediately going to recognize it most of the time. This one in particular was the case that I had where my computer didn't recognize the drive and I couldn't find it. But I had to do a little bit of, uh, you know, figuring it out to actually realize that I had to format the drive. So I'll go ahead and show you what I did here. Okay, so Windows actually has its own shell system in it, which has a disk initializer. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to type in CMD and it's going to come up with this command prompt. So right off the bat, right click it, not left click, but right click and run as administrator. And it's going to give you the, uh, you know, spiel. And this is where you're going to do your work in. This is where you're going to start. Let's uh, zoom in on this and we're just going to type in disk part, all one word and hit enter. Now this is going to open another screen. So let's move over there. And here we're going to type in uh, list disk and that will bring up our entire list of all of our disks and show us uh, you know the size and what's free and all that stuff so basically our disk is disk 3 and it's telling me it's 29 2794 gigabits gigabytes which uh, if I'm not mistaken 1024 is 1 gig and 1024 gigs is a terabyte so so now that we know which disk, we're going to uh, type in select disk three, and that's going to select our selected disk. Now we're going to type clean so that we can clean the disk. We succeeded. Okay. Now we're going to create a partition that is the primary partition for the disk and hit enter. Now it says it is succeeded in creating the partition. So now we're going to um, format that partition by typing in uh, format. And we want that file system to equal um, NTFS, which is a Windows main uh, file type for file systems. And we're going to do this fast by hitting spacebar and typing quick after this. So we do it and let's see how fast it goes. Okay, that was relatively quick. So let's go ahead and make this partition active by typing in active. Um, okay, now because it's not a uh, MBR or a mas master boot record disk, uh, we have to just assign to assign in a drive letter. And once that's done, then we can open up a uh, file explorer and see, but first we're going to type exit to get out of this window and then exit to get out of the other window. And now, as you can see in the file explorer, it's listed as disk F and it came up perfect. So let's go back out to normal view. So guys, as you can see, it wasn't that hard. I guess you would say it takes a little bit of knowledge in this area to do that. And I'm glad if some of you guys see this video and it helps you on your way to, you know, using this hard drive and not having the issues that some of these people who left these one star reviews have had. One more thing I want to mention is that this hard drive is 7200 rotations per minute. So it is a very fast 
spinning platter on the inside of the hard drive. And so that can cause some vibration and some sound. So if you hear like a car engine revving coming from your computer, don't get freaked out. It's perfectly normal. It's going to be a little loud. That's what you're going to expect from these platter hard drives. Uh, that's why a lot of people do use SSDs, but SSDs don't stand up the test of time. So anyways, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope this video helps you along. And check out my YouTube channel. I put the link in, in the beginning of the video. I hope you guys like it. I hope it helps you guys out with this hard drive. And that's about all I got. So thank you guys. I will see you guys in the next one.